Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for August 10th to the 16th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, my darlings, um, if you like a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. All right, my darlings, so let's see what's going on here. So today we're gonna talk about the day-to-day, -day, the love interest feelings, the block delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. And also, what's going on with my Aries Romantic Love Life for August 10th to the 16th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see what's going on here, Aries. All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Page of Wands. We got the King of Cups. So far, we could see there could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Oh, wow, nice. The Sun card energy, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. This is for your love interest feelings. We're just going to put that aside for now. And this is the blockage this week. So a new situation, a risk that has to be taken, a sense of naivete. So I feel like with this particular card, for the blockage, it's almost like, and if we see at the bottom of the deck, it's like there's something secret here, which is causing some kind of defensive or cautious energy because of responsibilities or burdens. You can see in this particular card, it looks like the person is like kind of like, all right, I see you. Should I turn around? I should be cautious about this. Because it's interesting, it looks like this woman is dealing, uh, well, for me, my intuition is showing me like a snake. There's like desires here. Uh, obviously, this is a piece of her clothing, but for me, my intuition is like, there's something that's about this situation that you're very cautious about. It could be a new person also, or you're concerned about being naive about the situation here. Because we're talking about the full card energy. It's like some kind of risk or gamble. All right, it's part of the blockage here. Some kind of new beginning here is part of the blockage here. All right, so. So with the Eight of Pentacles energy, it looks like there's some work or effort being put into some potential uh, passionate situation here. And trying to make the best decision based on the long term with the King of Pentacles energy. Um, so it's like gaining some kind of wisdom, looking ahead to the future also, I see. But I do feel like there's some uh, re-going over a situation where there was this passionate situation or something to do with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There's a sense of excitement here around it. It looks like on the day of the 10th here, it looks like you guys are finding some kind of creative endeavor to get involved with or focused on work with the Eight of Pentacles energy or putting, there is somebody who's putting some work or effort into the situation here. So let's see, we see luck here, reliving something from the past and hopeful energy, as I said. It looks like it's like re-going over some situation here and we see that here. Luck, a lucky energy is coming in, a fortune energy is coming in but there's something about reliving something from the past, re-going over some situation with this Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy or this flirty, passionate situation. We see there's a hope here, hopeful energy for a long-term commitment, King of Pentacles energy, you're making the best decision based on the long-term. So a lucky day for you guys on the 10th, but be careful on the 11th, it looks like there, there's some reminiscing or reliving some stuff that's coming up about in Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We see by the 12th though, you're in a stable place, King of Pentacles energy, or you're making best decision, you're very hopeful here with the star card kind of energy. Let's go further. Yeah, there's that regrets card. Cautious, defensive, that's what I feel like. And um, trying to get some kind of clarity here about making the best decision. Let me see, you're trying to free yourself here. Hmm, so definitely this situation that is being relived here is someone that finds you very attractive, very beautiful. But you're seeing some kind of signs here on by the 12th of like, wow, you know what? My intuition's telling me something here. I'm a little bit confused about this. 
but I'm, I feel like there's some kind of hope here for a long-term commitment, King, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I'll tell you though, this one right here, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the one that's coming in stable here, because it looks like you might have to make a decision here coming in, a choice here. So it's like you have these two choices here and you're aware of it by the 13th. And you're kind of like, okay, uh, but you're looking ahead to the, it looks like to me, you're looking back to the past and you're kind of more leaning towards that one. But I feel like this one here, this King of Pentacles is more towards the future, but you're still looking to the past there by the 13th. Let's see. Yeah, you may be receiving some kind of gift on this day or some kind of appreciation with the gift card energy. You're trying to be patient until you figure out what you want to do here. Yep, we see this new beginning coming in for you guys. And we see the full card is coming out as the blockage. So taking a risk, but you're, you're kind of like cautious about it. So it's like you have this freedom here. You have a lot of choices here. I feel like there's a, there's a couple of options you have because of this, uh, this want to get your attention, I feel like. I feel like there's, there's uh, two people in particular that are really interested in you, very attracted to you, and you're seeing signs of it, you're noticing it. Like you're getting some kind of spiritual signs here. And there is this new beginning here, a playful energy around this also. We see on the 14th, there is this really happy energy coming in. So, and some of you guys may be going out, maybe celebrating on this day. Um, possibly for work with, this is like the Ten of Pentacles energy or because of family. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, definitely abundance coming in for you guys on this day of the 14th. So we see here, there's this happy energy, okay, success, some kind of big celebration, uh, and possibly because of money or finance or family for some of you guys. And yes, this is a, an abundant situation coming in for you, a gift of abundance coming in for you guys on the 14th. So we see here on, on the 15th, we see something to do with family. And I feel like there is definitely evidence that things are growing in your situation and things are opening up. It's pretty obvious to you. Yeah, there's this pleasure kind of card coming out for, there's a sense of completion and accomplishment here on the 15th. Could be a friend. So some of you guys may be having a good time on this day, spending some kind of money, feeling accomplished or completed here. Just enjoying yourself with some friends here. Mm -hmm. And we see there's this commitment here coming in with the marriage card energy. This could be the, the friend here, okay? So we're gonna bring it all together though. We're just doing day to day. So I'm gonna just reference this as the day for some kind of commitment, with a friend, a joyful energy, and some accomplishment or completion here, okay. So we see here on the 16th, there's some worry, there's some anxiety about receiving something of value here. Something very shocking and surprising about this. You're seeing some kind of light around this situation. You're seeing some kind of opportunity, I feel like. Something is being brought to light. You're seeing some kind of evidence of something here, okay, with the hope card. So let's bring this all together, okay. All right, so on this day of the 10th, it looks like, it's like a day of like, oh, I'm just gonna enjoy myself. I have the freedom to do what I want. Uh, I feel like on the 11th, there's a lot of people that find you very attractive, in particular, two particular people. I, I see on the 12th, you guys are getting some kind of spiritual signs or messages, and it looks like it's around this new beginning. There is an abundance of um, possibly for some of you, something to do with marriage, okay, or a commitment to this abundance. There's an, uh, there's an abundant of commitments coming in or possibly more than one person offering marriage. And we see there's a hopeful sign here. Okay, so going down a little layer here, I feel bad about what happened. I feel defensive and confused. I'm trying to be patient because of family and friends and I need some kind of big change or I'm getting some kind of shock and surprise about this. 
there's luck on my side and I'm reliving things from the past, but I'm hopeful because there is something of value here. I'm really receiving some sense of appreciation. There's a gift of this celebration, this abundance, a lot of pre pleasure seeking, good times, you know, going out. And there's definitely, you're receiving something of value here. Uh, six of uh, the eight of pentacles is saying there's effort being put into a potential passionate situation but trying to make the best decisions on the long term you're trying to make some kind of choice this week of what's going to make you happy when it comes to family and long term or a sense of completion or accomplishment in the situation but there's a little bit of worry or anxiety around it okay so going further here let's take a look at your love interest feelings Okay, so we see your love interest is very emotional about you. Your love interest feels that you fulfill their desires. They've kept it hidden from you though, I feel like. They've seen signs that, you know, that, you're, that you're everything that they want, but they've kept it to themselves. They've kind of like tried to block it out. This person feels that you're very attractive. We see the Empress card coming out Emotionally, they are trying to be patient to bring things into balance here. This person also may want to start a family with you or because we see something to do with fertility, right? Some kind of huge potential around this situation. It looks like your person wants to have a conversation with you and doesn't want things to be transactional. They really want to be there for you or they feel like you're a very healing energy to them. Your person wants an opportunity, they have feelings for you, and they also see some kind of spiritual signs when it comes to this connection. Yep, spiritual signs. Proposal. That's interesting too, isn't it? Because look at this card. It's like this person's grabbing the other person's hand. And then we see this. This person may want to propose to you as well. They may be concerned or they're trying to trust in it. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. All right, let's come back to this blockage here. We have the full card energy. Sorrow. Reconciliation. All right, so it seems like the blockage this week is definitely someone from the past and the sense of sorrow, the sense of sadness, and this reconciliation and concerns about maybe do I want to move forward into a new beginning or a fresh start? Because as I said, I feel like some of you guys, when it comes to this potential Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, uh, or this person you felt like was a lot of fun, a lot of potential passion, that you had chemistry with this person, there is a, a sense of loss there around that. And uh, you had a lot of enjoyment with that person, okay? So now you're hesitant to move forward with this other situation and taking a risk because of what happened. Okay, so let's take a look at the overall energy here. Knight of Cups. Okay, Chariot card coming in. Three of Wands. Okay, so yes, someone is definitely making some romantic moves towards you. And they got strong desires to move this situation. They have strong desires for you. But it's like you're kind of waiting for your ships to come in. You may be waiting for that person. So that's also why you're kind of looking to that one wand like, all right, but this is, I'm waiting for this one person here. This could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There's strong desires here, but we see this desire for you is you're wanting to wait. Okay, we see there's knowledge here, concerns about how do I be honest with this new love connection? Or are they being honest with me pertaining to this new love connection? Knowledge, you're trying to gain some kind of knowledge. So you're putting boundaries in place until you can think about things, yep. And then going further, we see something that you want to bring into balance. There is a sense of celebration with this person because of love. Okay, so let's bring it all together. I feel like you guys have this one particular person where you're, they're on your mind, okay? It's somebody that you could have worked with or going to school with, okay? Uh, there is definitely an attachment to somebody that you have this chemistry and passion with. Um, but there's this other person coming in here, King of Pentacles energy, it seems like they're a better decision for the long term. They're coming in very stable 
and they're also trying to be there for you. Uh, but I feel like you guys, because of what happened to you before, you're hesitant to make that choice to go forward, to take that new beginning with this new person. So you're kind of like waiting here. You may be waiting for that other person, okay? Or you're waiting to see how things are gonna play out because you are cautious about getting involved with another situation because you don't know if what happened to you before is gonna happen with this person because you don't know if they're, they're lying to you. So you're putting restrictions in place and you're wanting to like gain more knowledge about the situation when it comes to this new love, but definitely new love is coming in for you guys with the new love card. And it does look like with the King of Pentacles energy, they could be coming in pretty stable too. All right, so going further, stressing about gaining knowledge, we see this nurturing supportive energy, trying to make the best decision, there is the King energy. We see this friend, okay, waiting, and we see a house, a family, a, a, like a, a stable connection coming in going further yep it's like my hands are tied there's this good news coming in and they want me to move kind of fast on this so this person's trying to move things ahead very fast that also may be the shock and surprise by the end of the week there you're kind of like whoa this is really this is coming coming in very fast they're they're, they're a little bit too quick for me okay I need some more time to think about this all right, my beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another date or two. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.